Hi guys, this is Isa from Prince Stick in another Plan With Me video. If you're following my series, you have seen how I set up this main page of my planner, which is basically my desk area with my planner cover and different widgets with little reminders and notes, as well as some photos that I would like to look at. So I added the goals that I have for this year. I think that it's a nice way of uh, having them handy whenever I want to go back and look at them and see where I am regarding completing these goals. I added these um, stickers that I drew on uh, Procreate only because I want to, to get better at Procreate. I don't, I'm not great at it yet. But, you know, I grabbed a brush and just drew these flowers. I'm not sure I love them, but you know, I'm just experimenting. And if you guys are interested in seeing Procreate tutorials and tips as I discover them, just let me know and I'll start filming videos with that. I also added my in my dashboard I added these um, stickers that I think I'm gonna come back and use a lot so instead of going to my uh, sticker book sorry this one and look for each sticker I'm gonna start placing my favorites here because since this is my index page I can just access it from anywhere in my planner I just click on the middle of my spiral oops and it takes me back here so it's a quick way of going and seeing these words I mean these stickers that I think I'm going to be using often and then these dots that you see here they're just a little detail they're literally just with your um, pencil you would just make dots along whoops this line once you have a few you can just lasso them copy them paste and then place them on another side well these are not very straight but then it's a cute little effect to add a little bit of color and decoration to your pages i also added this uh pencil widget which i'm gonna link down below it's the apple pencil widgets that you can find at my shop they come in different colors and a little quote here that i created on the widget i also started filling in my sections so these are still blank when you go here there's nothing but i you know at least know what i want to place in each section actually i need my tracker so that's a good excuse to show you how to get that done so basically i'm going to show you how to do this in the app graphic you can do it on Vect vectornator 2 but um, I prefer graphics. I'm just going to use graphic even though it's a paid app. So if you don't want to buy it, you can consider getting Vectornator and doing it there. But basically what you do is you create a new text box by clicking on text. Double tap on it and then write uh, whatever word you want. Uh, you know, in this case, I'm going to write the title for one of my sections and that's going to be my tracker. Okay. And then I want the same font that I had before, which is actually this font. You can you can get it as of now for free in our Facebook group. So I'm also going to link that down below in the description. If you're interested, you can just go download it. But wait, what is it called? It's called Marcador, so it must be here. So you find and this is the free one that you get, the caps version. And that's actually the one I'm going to use right now. But if you want to have lowercase and numbers and uh, special characters, then I, you can also buy the full version of the font, which I will also link down below. So uh, click on this one for now, because that's what I need, all capitals. And then it's a shame because I don't have the exact color that I used. So I don't know if it's going to work, actually. Let me see. I want all the titles to look the same. You know, same color, same size. The size doesn't matter. You can change that in uh, GoodNotes. But the color is my concern, but we'll see. So once you've written your word and you said the color you want, just tap on it to make sure that it's selected. Then go to this little clip uh, icon and tap on it. Click on Copy. And then your word is copied. So when you close this and go back to GoodNotes, you will uh, be able to just tap and hold and click on Paste. And then you have your word and as you can see this is like a different color i really don't oops like that so i mean i'm gonna leave it like that for now but i think i'm gonna have to go back and fix it and make them all the same color so i advise you to um just keep 
your document open in graphic and then just save it so you know you know you can set your different colors that you like for example a gray and then you can have of course white and black those are basic colors but if there's a specific pink that you like just keep this word saved and whenever you come back you can just tap and write something else like a day of the week and then you know that the color will be saved and look evenly in your planner okay but anyway that's how I started labeling all of my sections and then I also added a little tiny bit of color to my yearly section I started adding in uh, birthdays and special dates so the way I did this I will just um, use my sorry my whoops highlighter so pick a, a size maybe like 20 and then any color that you want to use remember you can change this later and then I would just like tap on any day okay that's huge let me make it smaller it's still pretty big sorry about that all right and then you just tap on the day and then it's gonna like highlight that that day and then what I do is I tap on this uh, line again and then you can start writing um, whatever it is that you need to enter okay and then and I added also the number here just so that if you have a ton of uh, different dates you can tell them apart um, okay so and then when you want to go back to your highlighter and if you've done other things and you move the number you don't remember what number it is you can simply copy this dot paste it which where is it here and then you can still change the color here there you go and then you can like paste it again to use it down here whoops oops oops what happened here here so I'm gonna move this over here and then again you can change the color again so that's a way um, of doing this so that you don't have to know exactly what size of um, highlighter you're using okay so you don't have to worry about that so I added those dots with different dates and just these lines which is basically again my highlighter or I think this is my just my pencil this thinner line is just my pencil with the perfect uh, shape tool selected so it makes my lines straight that's how I did this like outline and then down here I just added some widgets with like a little um, reminder for myself a photo of my husband carrying my baby upside down which is really funny and then this you know this is again something i just wrote in a uh, graphic just the way i showed you and then i pasted it here the banner here it's a uh, it's a sticker from the sticker book so if you go to the section banners you will see it's actually this one so i just copied this pasted it and then i paste the title on top and then the same technique as i showed you before it just write the um, dots with a bigger pencil and that's how you get this cool dot effect in case you're interested i think it looks really cute and this is another widget that i added as well and that's it this is january that we're not using right now so i'm just going to jump right to september i also made a few changes here from the last time you saw this so i made my pencil smaller so i could add this little clipboard widget and the way I'm using this I actually do want to show you this so let's see so I'm just gonna do the whole thing here I'm gonna move this aside for now and then I'm just gonna show you how I did that so go to your widgets I have my clipboards here so I'm gonna show you with this one copy it go here paste okay and then I'm keeping here my stickers that I want to use um, but I don't know where I want them yet in the planner so I just uh, keep them in this clipboard okay and whenever I'm ready to use them I can tap click on edit just drag it somewhere I don't know why the size has to change that's really annoying but don't worry about that just tap somewhere else and then you have your sticker okay so if you want to do that then you copied your uh, clipboard already and then you need some stickers so let's go to our sticker book and let's find something from my color sets for example let's say you want to do your chores so you can copy all these three icons which is a trash laundry and um, vacuuming so copy these tap and hold click paste on your planner 
when you're placing these just be aware that if you place this on top of the number remember that the numbers are stickers so when you move this you're gonna be moving the number the number is gonna be gone okay so just be mindful of that I think it's okay even if you did that by accident if I move as you can see you can still move it um, and separate them but just keep that in mind it's better if you just don't place them on top of any other sticker for now okay so okay so those three I can just place them here for them to be used in the future now if I uh, want to select my uh, trash can for example and if I use my lasso tool it's gonna be messy because it's also selecting the sticker that's under it which is the clipboard or the widget so the way you would work around that is just tap and hold on the sticker and since the sticker is on top of the clipboard when you click on edit it's just going to select this sticker and not the clipboard then you move it somewhere else and then you can select with your lasso tool and resize or reposition do whatever you need okay now let's say you want to switch colors you didn't like yellow so let's delete this clipboard okay now we need to find another one so we want this one so copy it back to your planner tap and hold click paste but now you have a little problem this is covering the stickers so the way you would fix that and this is what I wanted to show you, you just move your widget away oh, I actually selected a sticker it seems there we go so move it away and then just uh, select all of these stickers cut them now paste them and the fact that you just pasted them it means that they're on top of anything else because they're the very last thing that you pasted in the planner so I'm just going to place them on my um, clipboard here and as you can see now they're on top so you can see where they are now you can select the whole thing and bring it back here okay so yeah that's how I I did this and I think it's cute it's like a nice little <laughs> decoration item but also it's useful because you can keep the stickers here that you're gonna be using in your planner and then you don't have to go back and find them in your sticker book each time so I'm just gonna delete this for now bring my calendar back the way I wanted and so this is my monthly spread for now I still have not entered a lot of info just this day here and these um, stickers right here actually I created them they're all individual elements so as you can see this is like the words I mean the letters are separate so I put all of these letters together from my alphabet included in my sticker book if you go here to letters you can see you have different alphabets and different colors so I used the white version to make the word love these dots are just my dots from this section that says dots so these ones okay so I just copied that and this is like a sorry what happened whoopsies no 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 so we were in September what right I'm sorry all right so these dots yeah I showed you and then the the little box is also a sticker when you go here on solid boxes you have all these boxes that I just made a lot smaller and I used it as a background for my word now this one is also a badge so the background is a badge that you can also find in your book again I use each of the uh, letters included in my sticker book to make this little quote or just this little phrase so these are all individual letters so I think it's really fun because you can create your own stickers just putting all of this uh, together okay so I just want to show you that as well so in the next video uh, you you will see how I decorate my weekly spread I'm gonna cover these gray banners and give it a little bit of color and customization so make sure to check that out thank you guys so much for watching give this video a thumbs up if you liked it to let me know please leave any questions you have in the comment section and I will get back to you as quick as I can and see you next time bye bye mm -hmm.